this is for it again. Today we are going to talk about the bug tracker in order to fix. Um, it's pretty much the standard out of the box application and package application available in the operating system. And uh, you can see it is beautifully designed. Uh, and on the way, actually, a simple bug tracker application looks. You can see a nice uh, page, the home page, where you can see about the products, like what are the products that you're um, tracking about, and you can also create a, a, a bug or a product, you can add a bug or a product. Um, so far we have, for example, in this demo, we're going to see how many bug, bugs have been logged in the Acme Life Science Managing products. It's considered it's, it's a product from a customer that we are going to manage, and uh, we have we are going to track you know, the defects and bugs uh, raised for this product. Um, on the left side, you can see uh, the navigation pane. You have uh, the home page, uh, basically the dashboard, which will um, show you the products and the bugs. Um, under the bugs, you can see the list of bugs, you know, and the timeline for when, to whom it has been assigned to, and the categories filter by date and close by close date. Uh, social rates and uh, filterable lists which are available and the calendar and you have the announcements like what are the announcements you are coming from the product and you also have signings and the customers um, the releases which are coming for the product and fixed by you know like uh, what are the fixed with that will be available and my dashboard basically the dashboard that will give you um, like what are open products? It's 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 um, uh, pretty much a detailed view of all your product and metrics. You know how many products have been created and what are the status. It's beautifully designed. Like you can see multiple um, reports which are available. Uh, like bug, bug metrics, open and close uh, X days, and <clears throat> open bugs by severity, open bugs by product category, and also by the status. Um, so by clicking here, you can also navigate to your open bugs, or you can just click on any of the links, which are which also work, working links, so you can just quickly navigate to your box. Um, so let's go back to the product. I'm going to open Acme Life Science Management and see how many bugs so far reported, and you can see by status, you have, uh, we have five, and uh, these are the recent bugs which have been logged for this. On the top, you can see the total numbers, like how many total bugs we have, and how many open bugs, and with priority one, and with priority that is critical. And from here, also you can we can create a bug. So, in order to create a bug, all we need is just to enter, say SQL tuning, and what's the status, description phase, and what is not deployment severity. To be next release, the product. Then assign to you can directly assign it to someone, or you can just put it, you know, um, you can make it blank, you know, if, if you want to assign it um, later. Um, and the category, um, going to enter database issues, issues because it's a secret to me. And in the description, you can enter whatever information that you want. And if you look at the advance, you can also specify the customer, the severity, and phone and version. You can have multiple versions. That will be under the administration. And you can also mention the operating system, Windows slash um, And if you want to particularly assign it to someone, you can give it to support or development initiative goes to support in order to, you know, um, Create the bug and get more information, and you can also add some tags. So once I create a bug, the bug is entered. I can see the number here, the status assigned. So pretty much this screen is more familiar. We have the same layout available for most of the applications developed in Oracle FX. So if you take the project uh, tracker or you know another bug tracker and um, any other tracking application, SQL application, um, the, the layout on the pages, are, it's all going to be you know, more similar the way it is architected. So um, we can edit the bug here to give more information, like what uh, fixed version uh, that you want, that will be um, a 
available what is a fix in the version what is a um, what is fixed by the version and what is fixed in the version and you can mention a close date you know um, then once the bug is moved to the state is closed you know um, and um, you know tags customers and also you can we can add more description and at the bottom of this you can see an audit you know when it was assigned uh, to, to whom it was assigned for example if I change this uh, owner assigned to, to uh, and then you can, you know, after applying the changes, you can see the audit trail like to whom it has been sent. Um, just go to the edit mode one more once again. Yeah, and you can see when it was updated, you know, when it was created, you know, um, and assigned on. Uh, so all this information is captured whenever we edit the bug. And uh, on the right side of the pane, you can see we can quickly go and update, uh, uh, make an update to the bug. Um, um, very fine. From the customer. So uh, once you get all the information, you can just add an update to the bug so that uh, you know, any other person who is looking at the bug can uh, quickly you know see what is the latest update that is on the bug so you can you can actually you should be able to see that uh, and um, and it was also you can add add links to it and you can add attachments and uh, just to validate the completeness basically if uh, somebody is uh, going to pass it along to the development team. They don't have to go and validate like, what information is available on the bug. So in order to get it, um, there is a validation process where you can enter the comment, yes, uh, I have received all the required information from the team. And check this. I verify the content is secure. So it means it gives a confidence for the development team to you know to go and look at all the data information which is uh, um, you know which is uh, added attached to the work. And you can see an update has come here already. Whatever the update that we have made. So um, it's pretty much a very simple application. Um, you know. Um, which which gives a basic necessity and uh, and a basic feature of bug tracking. So if you're working with a customer who is you know uh, who's keep on um, adding more bugs to the product or who's looking for a, an application with a you know, which can be managed internally, um, uh, you can you can use the Oracle Apex application bug tracking in order to you know track all your customer bugs you know and uh, give um, an accurate information of uh, uh, when it is going to be fixed and what version is going to be fixed and uh, what are, what is the fix that is, that they'll be getting and also you can give an accurate report on how many bugs you are working on and uh, um, you know what are the fixes that will be available to, for them so you will not lose track of you know what you are doing when you are working with a, a, a customer who's a, who's uh, Looking for support for most of this product. So, if you're, you know, if you're a customer or if you're a consulting company or if you're a partner with any customer, um, you know, to, uh, on a support uh, mode, then if you are getting more uh, support requests from the customer, uh, this is a very simple tool that you can use it internally. I'm sure I believe uh, there will be more license requirements in order to use it uh, when when it comes to a company. But you know, I think uh, this is. Um, this is much more, uh, you know, much more uh, a good benefit uh, for the you know, customers who are very, very small and you know who are uh, who, do, who doesn't want to pay more money um, for for the vendors, you know, basically to manage all the bugs. So uh, it's a very simple application, and uh, customizing this application is not very difficult. You can do it on your own, and um, as well as uh, you know, it is very simple to use and it can have uh, very good navigation and uh, you can quickly go and add assignees and uh, you can just go as soon as and when you have uh, more 
uh, team support members working on your um, system projects and support projects you can add more team members here and then you can add more customers to the customer section uh, very quickly you can just add uh, click and add your customer name and give them a note um, in a work time for customer and then you can manage them uh, as soon as you add it and also uh, you can generate reports by releases and by fixes you know uh, by just clicking uh, by, with one click you can actually generate um, then you take a, a copy of this and send it to your customer like how many um, bugs and uh, report defects that you're working on um, whenever you you have a regular uh, meeting with your customer and uh, certainly you have the one different reports like you know uh, um, as I said they have a complete dashboard that gives a whole picture of what kind of uh, uh, bugs you're reporting what is the status of it and how, and how many products that have been um, been logged so far like sorry how many products that have been used and how many defects have been used a lot so far against the product and all those information is available mm. and as well as on the administration part you can always uh, restrict uh, you know using the standard access control and manage your end users here and also you have uh, option to change your status codes like you know if you want to update any status add new or delete anything you can always do it and severity codes and build options you can rename your application so all these kind of uh, you know, um, the standard features comes along with this product uh, and uh, uh, it is very easy to install since it is available uh, already in the Apex uh, package application all you need to do is just download the application and lock and you know customize the way you want for your organization and you can just click on this and uh, I believe uh, this is also uh, capable of doing uh, web services or even if you're not willing to do money uh, Invest your money in you know uh, doing web services and API uh, integrations. Um, you can quickly uh, create um, a simple page, you know, um, or even you can create another an export of your data to feed in your uh, you know legacy systems. So it's very easy when you manage the workspace. Uh, so if you have any questions or if you uh, have any uh, any feedbacks about our Clampex application, you can. Um, um, send it to me. You can um, add your comments in the comment section, and I will definitely uh, glad to answer your question. I think hope you enjoy this video and uh, stay tuned. I will be posting more, more videos. As always, please share and subscribe and uh, click on the bell notification to get more updates.